With just the right ratio of soil and water, termites have made hundreds to thousands of years old castles. They are among the best architects in the entire universe. This is Curiosity Diary. Like ants, bees and other social insects, termites live in societies where the collective power of the colony far outstrips that of an individual. Being parts of a superorganism gives the tiny termites superpowers. But a termite mound is like a construction site without a foreman. No one termite is in charge of the project. A termite mound is built to create the conditions that a colony of millions of termites needs to thrive. It must protect the termites from the harsh environments, as well as safeguard them from predators and supply fresh air deep underground. Some mounds capture the heat of the sun during the day and the cooling effects of the night. This drives a complex circulation of air that flips direction twice a day and fresh air is made available to the colony. Termite colonies that build their mounds in open savanna environment, where temperatures are relatively high. The mounds have thinner walls and are taller in order to improve ventilation. For termite colonies building nests in a shaded forest environment, their mounds have thicker walls and shorter height to improve thermoregulation. In the mound, termites also farm a symbiotic fungus that occupies eight times more of the nest than they do. Weather condition contribute to the amount of time taken to build a termite mound. Mostly it's a race against rain. Downpours collapse freshly built parts of the mounds. So termites are always scurrying to rebuild their mounds as fast as the weather eroded them. In some cases, the mounds can take up to five years to build. Imitating termites. Architects are looking for ways to build self-cooling buildings amid rising temperatures. Have you seen a termite mound before? How big was it? Share your response in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.